G'day guys, welcome to Scotch Down Under. I'm Ken. I'm the Q-Ball. And I'm Scott. And today we're going to have a look at Monkey Shoulder. The blended Scotch whiskey taking the world by storm. So it's our first blend. Yep. Yeah, Excellent. it is. It's not just oh. a blend, it's a blended malt. It's a blended malt. So there's actually three single malts blended together to create this whiskey. Do you know what they are? Uh, Glenfiddich is one of them. Yes. And uh, do you know any of them? Uh, Belvenia, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the other one is, uh, <laughs> the pronunciation of this is a bone of contention between us. I say Kinan V. Uh, some say Kinnon V or something like that. Kinnon V, yeah. Kinnon V works. Kinan v. Yeah. So the three malts are blended together. We weren't actually absolutely able to ascertain because there's conflicting evidence as to which distillery does the blending. Yeah. Um, but, but different sources. One says Glenfiddich, the other one says the Kinnon V distillery. But they all have an overarching owner. Yes, which is William Grant and Sons, Grant and Sons. Yeah. which is the largest family-owned distillery. Yep. Yeah. Uh, in Scotland and possibly the world. Yeah, that's it. So this blended single malt came out in 2005, starting to surpass Johnny Walker in bars around the world, and it's one with, of the most approachable cocktail made with good reason because yeah. you know a lot of people as, as their first pour so they're cheap one for a scotch and coke you know they're using johnny red and they're moving into this because it's a better quality product yep. yes three monkeys on the yes. shoulder of the bottle are because of the three malts that are used yes uh and the uh the monkey shoulder itself the name refers to a uh an injury in ye olden times Yes. Of um, producing whiskey because the uh, the malt makers, the guys that will actually turn the barley while they're malting it, it would all be done by hand and because of the excessive and hard repetitive work. nature, um, you know, after a long hard day, you know, they, their arm would droop slightly, much like theoretically, you know, a monkey has a lowered shoulder and so they would actually call it monkey shoulder. So if we all dropped our left arm and we all go... Left arm, right arm, yep. depending on whether you're left-handed <laughs> or right-handed, there's your monkey shoulder. Monkey shoulder. <laughs> so yeah, it's a great little name and a great story and there's actually a bit of a cult falling about these monkey shoulders sitting on here. When people drink their bottle and they take these off and they put them around in a necklace and they stick them as ornaments and it's a great... Look at that. A great little thing. And even on the cork I just noticed. They've even got the three monkeys on the cork. How awesome is that? That's attention to detail yeah. in, uh, you know, packaging your product. Taking pride in your product. That's Speaking exactly of right. packaging for them, like, have you seen the gift packs that they bring out? No. <laughs> They're really, like, amazing. They come in, like, a cage, and so you have the cage part oh, and, like, cork I've seen on pictures top, of that. Yeah, yeah. they so good. Yeah, yeah, and there's been a couple of different ones. Like, they've done a square one, and I know they've done, like, a, a barrel-shaped yeah. cage, but what they actually do on the front of the cage where the where the label is and everything they actually sort of prize the bars a bit so it looks like the yeah, monkeys, monkeys are trying, trying to, to get escape, out <laughs> which is very cool well enough about the bottling and the labeling let's have a little sniff of this beauty what do you reckon mm -hmm. sounds good to me hmm oh look, it's it's super approachable in my opinion you know on, on the nose straight away there's that Bit of soft caramel there. Yep. Bit of sweetness and, and little, hints of the oak. Yeah, it's like floral notes as well. Not, not, there is, there is almost like, a tiny bit of pepperiness there as well for me. I don't get the pepper, but a lot of floral up front. Yeah, very space side. And all these yeah. single malts that go into it are yes. space side, so very space side ish. Now I haven't actually tried this on its own. I've tried it in a rusty nail, but I've never actually tried it as a straight whiskey. So this is very common for cocktails. So mm -hmm. this is what it's actually made for to go to bars and cocktails. I'll admit I've been um, drinking this since I first came across it. Back in um, 2005? Thereabouts, yes. Yeah. I was I was working, working in a liquor store 
and um, I'm not 100% certain, but I, I think it wasn't originally uh, promoted as a blended malt. Mm. And I think initially, for me at least, or maybe it just took a, a couple of goes at it to get to really get onto the flavour of it. But yeah, initially I didn't like it much, but now I'm, there's been a, a bottle in various states of consumption residing <laughs> in my cupboard for the last probably eight to ten years. Yeah, and I, I actually, uh, yeah, I don't mind. I've got, got this one and I'll have another one sitting back there as well. <laughs> It's one of those ones that when they, they put it out on a really nice special, you grab a couple of bottles. Yeah, yeah you, you grab You know that. you're going to drink it. It's not going to sit there forever and a day. And I've never heard anyone say anything bad about Mucky Shoulder. Mm. It's, uh, it's got uh, a good, solid reputation. I was itching in for a taste then, so I think let's, let's go. Yeah, with, yeah. let's yeah. do it. I, yep. I had to stop Cheers. myself once or twice. <laughs> Very smooth, all round, just a great flavour mm. profile. I get nothing. Like green apples from it. Yes, I, I mm. definitely get the green yeah. apples. I'm with you on that. Green apple. Fresh green apple. Yep. It's usually Irish you get apple from, but that's quite nice. Oh, that's right, this is your first taste, as it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're getting something out of it. You're yeah. actually enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah, green apple and obviously the, the honey. From a typical space side, yeah. but again, it's just beautifully approachable, just easy drinking. And it's, <laughs> I mean, obviously, we know how much it is. It, it, it's yeah. ridiculously approachable and good for the price. And the yeah. best thing about this, because it is so approachable, it is a great one to actually introduce to your friends who are not into this kind of drink. So if they're not into whiskies whatsoever. Give them a bit of monkey shoulder and see what they think. Honey lingers on the palate, and again, there's that little spiciness that I can't quite nail yeah, down. Yeah, same. Yep. And yeah, I get what you're saying with the with the with the apple. It's mm. it's like there's that that crispness to it. Yeah, it's right fresh. up front. Like as soon as it hit my taste buds, that's the first thing I got was like that green apple kind mm. of. Like yeah, as soon as you said it, I'm like, crispness. I just visualised yeah. fresh green crispy mm. apple. Yeah. Mm. A good Granny Smith. A yes, good Aussie yeah. Granny Smith. Can't go wrong. Beautiful. Mm. Uh, 40% ABV, mm -hmm. so not an overly strong whiskey. Yeah, nothing to, to be offensive um, about. And to be honest, at, at that volume, I, I don't think we actually, I mean, we should. Mm -hmm. We'll put some water in it. Yeah. Just just for the comparisons to see what happens. I haven't got much left. You but, might have um, <laughs> we'll fix that. We can fix that. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Scotty. Yeah, alrighty then. Knock it off. And not not saying that we're like you know professional is... drinkers or anything like that. But no, just, this just is a very good I've, dram. I've quite simply knocked that back with no real sort of. It's just a really pleasant. It to it. It's it's beautiful. It's pleasant. Have you done it? It's got a nice colour to it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we put some water in. Or I have at least. I've put some How many water drops? In there. I've done my usual. You've done your usual? I'm gonna go, oh, I, I, I lost count there. That was three. That was three. Yeah. He's the counter. Yeah. Scott, he's gonna put his four drops Yeah, Scott four. Yeah. yeah. Scott four. I don't, I don't think it's really, it hasn't really changed the nose for me, having that little bit of water in there. Or no, the nose still seems... Bit more of a swell. Um, I'm getting a little bit more oak. I'm picking up. I think I'm starting to get more of that. No, I don't think more of that floral note that you were talking about before. Okay. Yep. I don't think it, I don't think it's overly changed that much for me with the four drops. That softened on the palate for me. That mm -hmm. the palate definitely softened right up. Oh, yeah, I really like definitely. with that little bit of water. I really get that. Yeah. That, yeah. Gr that Granny Smith apple thing now. Yep. Oh yeah. I feel um, like but there's four that. Wasn't enough. I'm gonna add so what happens is they're really, they're really, really soft honey. Yeah, so that it's, honey it's coming is... through a little bit more with a bit of water. Not a strong flavour honey from a, from a specific plant, just a generic, soft, yeah, nice, nice honey. Just stick soft on sweetness to it. Honey on toast. There you go. Honey on toast. For that almost, water. almost buttery. Now that it's, mm. you yeah, put a bit of water in there. a bit of honey and then butter on. Oh, yum yeah. yum. Yeah. Hmm. 
There we go. Love it. Done. Easy. So you've Look got that. you've got honey and butter on toast with a side of green apple. Yep. That sounds like a great yep. all day drink breakfast meal. Yeah. Well designed, well packaged. The quirkiness with the the monkeys and the name itself, the monkey shoulder. And they're metal too. They're not some yeah, plastic. No, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're actual yeah. metal. Yeah. And if you actually if you take that off, they're not actually stuck over the shoulder of the bottle. I don't know if you can see it that well, but there is actually a recess in the bottle for them, so it's molded. Yeah. So there's that yeah, attention they to detail into and there. class yep. there, and it's a solid like cork and everything as well. And you've got the band around the neck, batch twenty seven. So. Whether we should actually explore whether there's older batches around or not, maybe answer that. Well, they do actually have another release which I'm really itching to try Monkey Shoulder Smoky. Yes. This, oh, yeah. that'd be just a Peter. So it's, it's, it's a, a Peter version. version of this. So which, I don't know what Pete they yeah. put in there. I can't remember what it is, but yeah, there's a Pete version. I really want to try that. Sounds like we've got to track it down. Yeah. All right, so to get towards the wrap up, there's, there's no guesswork for us because we're all well aware of the worth of this one. Um, depending on where you shop, you're going to pay, and specials and things like that. In a nutshell, average about 60 bucks. Yeah, 60 yeah, bucks 55, 60 dollars. Yeah. yeah. Um, if it's on specials, sometimes you can pick it up a little bit cheaper. In, depending on where you are, you'll pay a little bit more, but around 60 bucks. And for that, it's phenomenal. Yep. It I'm, is I'm, just great value for money. I'm, I'm never going to go past the shelf and not pick up a ball lift if I don't have it. It's, it's definitely one you've got to have on your shelf. And I'm giving it a 9.5. If, if you've got about this much at home, and let's say it's on special at a flat 50 bucks, you're probably going to grab a bottle anyway. Yep, just grab so it. you've got one in the cupboard. Um, yeah, look, you know, going a little more conservative, but, you know, mainly because it's so simple and easy and it's not overly complex, and, and I like a bit more complexity in my whiskies, but it's still a solid 9. Yeah, but well I'm, I'm judging it as blends, so going with just blends. I'm, I'm, going... I'm talking whiskies in general. Okay. Okay. Because there are, look, let's face it, there are some yeah, blends yeah, out there that are a little more complex. Uh, true. Got, you know, there's age statement blends that deliver some really exceptionally nice well. Blends, yeah. Um, but for know, the price point, for the price and the availability, phenomenal. yeah, I'm going nine point five for this one. You can't, you can't. It's, it's great for the price. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying I'm being conservative. Okay. What do you, what do you go? I reckon I'm probably an eight point five. If I'm, if I'm in. Uh, Putting in all whiskey, I reckon eight yeah. five. It's good. Oh, okay. I can see that. And yeah, well, see that's that's the, yeah. why I went for a, for a nine mm. because of the fact that you know there's like it's beautiful, it's simple, it's approachable, it's delicious, and it's great value for money. But it's yeah. it, it's not up there as far as some of the best I've ever tasted. But you know, for something, and let's face it, a lot of us do judge on price. But for something for this cheap to deliver as well as it does, that's mm. why it gives it for me. It's a solid nine, and I can understand why you're giving it a nine and a half. Yep, I'm judging it so just on blends. grander scheme of whiskey in general. Solid nine. Yeah. If 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 we're talking blends, I don't think there's much better in the same price point. Yeah. I that, mean, it for me that I mean it definitely beats a Johnny Red. It beats a Johnny Black. Yeah, mm, it's maybe a little better than a dimple. Yeah, um, I feel like on the cheaper end, blends have a bit more to stand on than really yeah. like cheap single malts. Uh, there are a few out there that are done exceptionally well, um, but I feel like blends can really hold their own in the cheaper end of the market. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this one in that, like for me, in the sub eighty dollar price point. This is actually a standout whiskey. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, for me, judging it as just for blends, I give it a nine point five. But I see where you're saying if you're going to judge it on the grander scheme of things. Yeah, yeah. 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 and I, I mean, feel like this is the most confusing judging we've ever done. <laughs> no, <laughs> the consensus is it's good. <laughs> yeah, it started an argument whether how good it. <laughs> yeah, we're high. high saying, it should be a little bit higher. But, <laughs> yeah, but it, it's good stuff. And on that note. From us, see you next time and have, have a good a, one. Have a good one. Oh, that one didn't go out well, down well. Didn't? No, I think that went down the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, Excellent. it is. Blend it. <laughs> <laughs>